the rest of the story. 19-year-old Lloyd Wood stretched, yawned, but before his eyes were open, he felt stiffness and pain, especially in his legs, especially in the right leg. And then Lloyd opened his eyes, and everywhere all around him, standing silently bathed in mist and gray morning light, were tombstones. Still half asleep, Lloyd leaped to his feet and stood there breathless, his clothing damp from morning dew. What had happened, he struggled to remember. During the lonely cross-country bicycle journey, after pumping away the hours of day and many of the night, Lloyd had found a soft patch of grass in some farmer's field, he had thought, and there in the darkness he lay down, and yet exhausted and unknowing, he had fallen asleep in a cemetery. And with the awareness of this, the boy shuddered, Emotionally, at least, young Lloyd Wood had never been so far from home. And so standing there in the pre-dawn glow of the shore of the Isle of the Dead, his thoughts turned to the family he loved and missed. So many miles behind him now. Only Lloyd's brother had known that he was leaving. Were his parents worried? Did they understand that this was something Lloyd had to do? In any case, it was. And so the teenager, his stomach empty and his body aching, jerked his Montgomery Ward bike to its tires and rode off through the silent graveyard and off down the road. He had set out with only six dollars in the clothing he had worn to school that day. For nourishment, he ate mostly peanuts, which he bought along the way. The first night, he stayed in a dollar-a-night hotel. The next, a kindly sheriff let him sleep in the town jail. But then the towns were fewer and farther between. That's how Lloyd, in mid-adventure, found himself amid the gravestones one misty morning. But he couldn't quit now, could he? He had come so far, and he was so close to where he needed to be. After five days and four nights, Lloyd reached his destination, Rochester, Minnesota, specifically the Mayo Clinic. But this is the rest of the story. Back home in Huntington, West Virginia, because of a nervous, progressive, and apparently untreatable infection, the doctor had wanted to amputate Lloyd's right leg. His parents, impoverished by the Great Depression, could not afford a second opinion, much less the train fare to an esteemed place like Mayo's. So 19-year young Lloyd Wood took it upon himself to make the journey to Rochester on his bicycle. Today... Today, Lloyd resides in North Lake, Illinois. He is an active, completely healthy, 79-year young man. And yet, as you recall from time to time, his remarkable cross-country odyssey in 1937, and you will, you will also reflect on the fact that some races are won simply by going the distance. For you see, when the specialists at prestigious Mayo Clinic examined Lloyd's once ravaged right leg more than 60 years ago. They discovered to their astonishment that the persistent infection had faded, that circulation had returned, that the healing process had already begun, that Lloyd had saved his own leg simply by pumping those tiring, terrible, wonderful 800 miles. Now you know the rest of the story.